Ecote, s'il vous plaît. This next story is our first from Quebec, Canada, and it's an important first in another way, too. We've seen videos of UFOs that are tic tac shaped, cigar shaped, saucer shaped, of course, and even cube shaped. But we've never seen one that looks like this. Voici. Quebec, 2018. A French speaking family is on an outing enjoying a cloudless day when they notice something in the sky and start recording. A bizarre object rotates slowly, seeming to shine bright red and green lights as it turns. We push in and stabilize the image to get a better look. As the image comes into focus, you don't have to speak French to grasp the family's astonishment. C'est quoi? On voit. Hey, c'était vraiment nice. Okay. Yeah. C'est un vaisseau. On le voit! The family grows increasingly certain they've spotted something extraordinary. And check this out. At moments, it looks like this thing is flaming, something we've never seen before. Is it a craft burning off fuel as it ascends into space? Journalist MJ Banias, a Canadian himself, says his homeland does a thorough job of recording such incidents. Canada has uh, a significant UFO history. We're one of the few countries that actually logs and collects uh, UFO data on a yearly basis and then publishes the results of those findings. There are more sightings of UFOs uh, over Quebec than in any other Canadian province. Whatever this thing is, it's not making any noise, and it's not clear how it stays aloft. The object is quite curious to me because it seems to have no visible means of propulsion, maybe even uh, exhibiting anti-gravity properties. It's sort of just suspended uh, in air and for a period of time. So this very well could be something not of this world. So we've done stories of UFOs spotted at forest fires, hovering around flaming volcanoes, and even flying into the sun's corona. But this is a rare instance where a UFO almost looks like it's on fire. To shed some light on what we're seeing, we turn the video over to our experts. First, video analyst Mark D'Antonio examines the video and its metadata to see if we can trust it. As far as the video being something that was fake or hoaxed, I don't believe that that's the case. I think that this is an actual object. This object doesn't have propellers or produce exhaust, so our experts eliminate a drone or plane. And the sky is completely clear, so D'Antonio rules out a cloud. This is not anything weather related. Where there's no sun, it's dark under there, and where there is sun, it's bright. It kind of shows us that it's a 3D object being illuminated by the sun. And what looks like fire might not be flame, but really a glint of sunlight off a shiny surface, says aviation expert Tim McMillan. It's something that appears to have a very highly reflective surface. It's reflecting sunlight, uh, very much like a mirror. And so all of that is very characteristic of a bright, shiny silver mylar party balloon. And at one point, you can almost make out a shape, uh, maybe an H, or uh, you know, at some point, it almost maybe looks like a horse. D'Antonio and McMillan think it's a balloon of some sort that's reflecting light so intensely it looks like it's on fire. But neither can explain exactly why the reflected light is so red, why the colors sometimes shift, or even why it's that strange shape. I can't say it's not a UFO, unequivocally, but I do believe it's a Mylar balloon. So, our verdict? The deciding moment for us is when the object turns sideways. We have to agree with our experts. With its wrinkles and strange shape, it sure looks like a partially deflated balloon. But we don't know what the letter is supposed to be. So it's a UFL, unidentified flying letter? I think it's an N.